everyone. So I'm going to talk about um, up and up diapers as well as parents choice and I'm going to dabble on some Huggies because I have used Huggies before. Um, <clears throat> so just to let you know the up and up and the parents choice, these are all parents choice diapers, um, different kinds and different sizes. The difference between the two is price and also um, <clears throat> What I've noticed, if you use, this is a Target or Up and Up diaper, Up and Up is a Target brand. So if you, um, let's just say because, because these are the equivalent of Huggy Snug and Dry, so um, until like you'll just notice the, the diaper will sag so much if your baby hasn't really complained. Um, or this is in case you haven't checked on your baby and this is just in case, okay? In case you haven't checked on your baby because they haven't been fussy, you know, they, they didn't need a change. So, um, what would happen is, and this is just for number one, what would happen is when, what I've noticed is after you take it off and what I usually do is I wrap it. I wrap it really tight and then I, I put on um, these straps over here. I put them over here and then the other one too, and then I toss them in the bin. So what I've noticed when um, it's a little, there's a little bit of moisture coming out with the up and up, the um, Huggies, I didn't really notice, but I didn't really test it at the time or there wasn't really an opportunity for me to do that. Um, because you kind of don't really feel it the parents choice does the same a little bit and the reason that i've noticed that was because i used this one first before this one and that's how that's why i was paying attention after when i was using the huggies i didn't really notice that and that was before i used up and up um so let's just say in the scale of one to ten ten being when you touch the di the outside of the diaper it feels wet um and one would be there's a little bit of, of a little bit of moisture but not a lot maybe just a little bit like a like maybe a mist worth or maybe even lower the lowest scale of moisture is what i'm saying this might be a five in that and this i would consider a one or a two so it's a lot less versus the up and up, which is very strange because they both claim that they hold the same thing, everything's the same. Pretty much these two is equivalent to the Huggies Snug and Dry, which is a lot more expensive. It's double the price for from the Target brand, so this would be um, cheaper, especially if you get the Mega Box, um, because it's just, it's just way cheaper per diaper. Now, I'm going to talk about the difference between parents choice and the up and up diaper now the, the up and up diaper is very thick especially in the front the parents choice is not as thick it is thick in the front it is some it is similar in that aspect that it's also thin in the back um and the front is a little bit thicker um if this is a hundred percent thickness i would say this is probably about 80 percent. so it is it is a significant amount of difference did that really go in the way in regards to absorption of the of the urine? No, I didn't see that at all. So to me, you're getting um, you're getting the same technology, less bulk though, with the Parents Choice versus the Target, and also less um, less moisture coming through the diaper in the front. Um, but this is when you're you're taking it off like you don't feel the the moisture or the dampness on the clothing You don't feel that at all. It's only when you are um, When I'm putting them away and if you put it on a table like my table is like solid wood and it's super shiny like The moisture is right there. There's a little bit of dampness if that makes sense So that's the part that I that's why I noticed that um I have noticed that a lot of people were complaining about the parents choice in regards to having girls excuse me so if you have girls what I would suggest is you, you just um, you lower the front 
um, in case for the number one and then you just kind of raise the back a little bit that should fix it so um, I have a boy so um, I just do it like equally but sometimes I even lower this and kind of still um, go to the back if in case I notice when they're doing a number two and um, it might be close to the top. So I just kind of adjust the back part just because other people are kind of like, I mean, I'm a, I'm a first time mom and to me, you know, like the directions, it's really kind of vague, but I've kind of really experimented on what I can do and not really have to go a, a next size up if it doesn't need to go. Like if he can still fit in the smaller size, I'll still do that. And also for the record, that is cheaper. Every time you go up a size, it's, mu it's much more expensive, by the way. So now I'm going to talk about the overnights. This is a lot of diaper talk. I'm gonna talk about the overnights because um, my son, we've switched, um, in the last, last feeding of the day is I give him liquid only and no more solids, um, just so he won't wake up in the middle of the night and he has a number two and it's uncomfortable. So we switched it to that and because of that, he does, um, do urinate a lot more throughout the night. And what I've noticed is if you put on the diaper this way, you know, imagine this is side view. Um, he sleeps on his belly. So this part above the diaper is completely soaked when he's up his uh, bed sheet. We have the waterproof, um, uh, the waterproof mattress. So we never have to worry about that part, but we have to change the um, bed sheet. And of course, you know, his clothing and all that stuff. Um, so what I've tried to do was I just lower the back part and I raise the top part as high as possible. So this is probably half an inch to an inch above his butt. Um, and then the top is like as high as I can get it so that his, he's comfortable with. So it's probably looking like this. And that has helped a lot. Also, um, I've also noticed is um, I would I will put this on right before he goes to bed like if he eats less this is an example if he eats the last time during the night is five o'clock at night and then I won't put him to bed until six o'clock or 545 or 615 or something like that whatever time it is right before I take him upstairs um, I change him in his, um, in, in a different clothing. If he's, if he's already just recently changed, I don't, but I do change the diaper from the regular diaper and he is still a number three right now to a number four overnight. So, um, <clears throat> the reason I choose that I chose the number four, I never got the number three overnight was because he was using a number four, um, regular diaper for the overnight. <clears throat> and what I've noticed was it just wasn't enough and this is supposed to be for 12 hours because this is supposed to be for 12 hours I just thought I would just skip one size over and what we've also noticed is that he is kind of outgrowing the number three and this might be the last time I'm purchasing the number three I do get the biggest box or the number of pieces of items per per box from Walmart so it really is the cheapest per diaper when you do that. Um, so I still have, I think, I'll, I don't know. I still have maybe, I know like at least a hundred diapers or something like that for number three. So after that, I'll probably switch to number four. But like I said, we'll see. Um, so the overnights, I've never tried any kind of brand of overnight. And just so you know, um, not even going, because this is my first purchase for the number four and then I switched to number five and I haven't even started the number five. This just arrived today. So my thing is with the number four is, um, it is similar to the regular diaper. It's similar in, um, in regards to the front is thicker and the back is thinner. 
Um, but this one, it feels like the back is double the thickness. Double, yeah, double, double or a little bit more than double. And the front is definitely more dense. It feels, um, it's not, because this one, the regular number four, feels a little fluffy even. The, the overnight number four definitely feels a little bit more dense. Um, it's a little bit thicker. I wouldn't even say double, probably 50% thicker than the regular. So I was really contemplating and maybe purchasing the Huggies version. But then because I had that little hack that I did, I just raised the top and I make sure I change his diaper right before he goes to bed. That has helped a lot. Has it been full, uh, has it been foolproof? No. There has still been times in which it has still gone through. So I don't know. Um, it's just that these are these are really super cheap. It is 13 and change. And then I think the Huggies are 23 and change. So it is a really big difference in regards to price for the overnight. So that's why I haven't really tested out the Huggies one. Um, and like I said, it's not every night and it's only those times that I do forget to change right before I put him to bed. Mind you, he does get a change of diaper. Like maybe if that happened, he probably got a change of diaper and like 20 minutes before or 10 minutes before. And then, you know, you just kind of forget to change. And it is already in the overnight. So that is a lapse in, lapse in judgment sometimes. Um, and also sometimes he is super fuzzy. He, for whatever reason, wasn't able to nap throughout the day. And if he doesn't have his two naps during the day, he's really fussy later in the day. And for that reason, and your baby just cries for no reason because he's just really tired, it can get extremely irritating. And I'm pretty sure other stay-at-home parent will feel the same way. And those are usually the times that it goes through. Um, so if you want to save a lot of money and just do your diligence and change them right before they go in their bed, in their crib, because it will save you $10 per box because there's not a lot of diapers in those $13 and change for the overnights. That's for sure. Um, I haven't tried other brands aside from these three and I am, I'm pretty happy with the parents choice um the price point is definitely the best when you have a baby and it's just diapers I'll, i mean honestly i thought i was going to be like a huggies or a pampers mom the entire thing and then you go you go diaper shopping and holy gosh it's expensive and you have to think you're you're changing diapers a lot in the day not once not twice not three times a lot so a big box of diapers can go through pretty fast. What I've also noticed when I get the biggest box of the Walmart or Parents' Choice um, diapers is it can last me, but mind you, this is already a baby that is past six months. It can last you or me between one to two months. I don't have to buy the biggest box all the time. And also with when they're younger, you do have to change them a lot more. Um, but I didn't know any better, but, um, yeah, when they're a lot younger, there's just a lot more wet diapers and me and my husband before were just like, that's icky. But at the time we were also using Huggies. Um, so a little bit of urine comes out. Let's just say like a, an eighth of a teaspoon comes out. He's already uncomfortable. Like there's no con consoling that. So just so you know, you're, to me, it's just, I feel like purchasing the little snugglers was really a waste of money because I could have spent the same amount of money or maybe a little bit more or a little bit less and purchased the parent's choice or even the up and up from Target. And not only was my baby going to feel dry but um really comfortable but it would have been economical as well as well as environmentally friendly because you have to think these do not really disintegrate um naturally so just think about me and my husband changing 15 10 to 15 
diapers in one day, you know, 10 to 15 diapers in one day. That's usually average. That's typical for um, a really young baby, like a newborn or, you know, a three month old, four month old, stuff like that. Sometimes it can go between eight to 15, depending on what's going on. Um, the older they do get though, the less they do that because they're getting bigger and they can actually um, take more less frequently. And so they go less frequently because they can hold more. So there you go. I know I, I just, I wanted to share that because, you know, I'm a first time mom and I really didn't get any tips from anybody. No one really was, you know, teaching me different diapers. And this, this to me is really important because you use this all the time, all day, every day with your baby. And it, it, it's not, it's not cheap when you are using it so frequently and when you're changing your baby so frequently and you're purchasing it so frequently, it adds up. Okay, so there you go. Um, if you want to share your experiences with these brands diapers that I've mentioned already, um, the sizes, if you have any questions, suggestions, or things that I didn't even realize that you've proven and you've you you know you've made your own hack, please share that down below so you can share that with me and everybody else that's also doing research and trying to better their life with their baby. Um, any questions, comments, suggestions, feel free to that down below. I love you all guys and um, thank you so much for stopping by. I hope to see you again next time. Bye. Thank you so much for watching my video. Please uh, hit the like button, subscribe button, and the bell so you'll be notified whenever I do upload a new video. Don't forget to expand the description box because as much as possible, I always try to get coupons for you guys, discount codes, and other goodies uh, like that. Um, I also have my Twitter information, Instagram, Snapchat, and for business inquiries, I have my email there as well. Thank you guys, and I'll see you again next time. Bye.